To add or subtract fractions, you must have common denominators. In this case, we already have common denominators, so we only need to add the numerators and keep the denominator. So we get 5 sevenths. Our next problem, we have common denominators. We know that we're going to keep the denominator, so we subtract numerators. But this will reduce. You have to write the answer as 1 half. Now with 6 and 15, we don't have common denominators. We'll need to find the common denominator. It's best to use the least common denominator. I don't want to look at multiples of 6 because it might be more work than if I just look at multiples of the biggest number. To show you that, the next multiple of 6 would be 12. 15 is not going to fit into 12. The next multiple would be 18. 15 is still not going to fit. So we'll just look at multiples of the biggest, and that'll be the fastest way to get our common denominator. So multiples of biggest, 15, then 30, and 6 goes into 30. So 30 is our least common denominator. To get from 6 to 30, multiply by 5. Always do the same to the numerator. To get from 15 to 30, we'll multiply by 2 and same to the numerator. We went through all the trouble of getting a common denominator because we keep the common denominator. And then 5 and 14 is 19. With 4 and 10, we'll look at multiples of biggest. So that's 10, 20, and 4 goes into 20. Twenty is our least common denominator. To get from four to twenty, multiply by five. Do the same to the numerator. To get from ten to twenty, multiply by two. We know we're going to keep the denominator so we simply subtract the numerators. Looking at number 4, we need common denominators. 15 will work because 5 goes into 15. When I say goes into, I mean goes into evenly with nothing left over. This one we don't have to change. The numerator will stay the same. But this, we have to change from 5 to 15. So we multiply by 3, multiply by 3. We keep our denominator. 4 and 6 is 10, but you have to simplify this. Just as you multiply by the same term, top and bottom, you would divide by the same term, top and bottom. That's how I went from 10 fifteenths to 2 thirds. I divided by 5 and divided by 5. Looking at number 6, 28 will be our common denominator because 7 goes into 28. This fraction we won't have to change. but we're going to have to change from 7 to 28. We multiply by 4 and multiply by 4.
we keep that denominator and subtract the numerators. 328s cannot be simplified, there's no common factor, so that's our answer. So again here we need a common denominator. I'm going to look at multiples of the biggest. So we have 15, 30, 9 will not go into 30, 45, 9 does go into 45. So 45 is our least common denominator. To get from 15 to 45, we multiply by 3, multiply by 3 with the numerator, gives us 12. To get from 9 to 45, multiply by 5, same to the numerator, this gives us 35. We will keep our denominator. To subtract, I have to put the larger number on top, subtract 12. This leaves us with a negative 23, so we have negative 23 40 fifths. Looking at number 9 here, we have common denominators. All the fractions are positive. So the denominator will be 18, 7 and 3 is 10, plus 1 is 11. That's our answer. Looking at number 11, we have common denominators, but two of the fractions are negative, one of them is positive. I'm going to combine the two negative fractions. Negative 4, negative 7 gives us negative 11. bring down the 9 thirteenths, signs are different, we'll subtract and keep the sign of the larger, so that's a negative 2 thirteenths. Looking at 8, we have different denominators, so we'll look at multiples of the biggest. That'll be 10, then 20, and 4 goes into 20. 20 is our least common denominator. So be sure to bring down this negative as well as that positive. You can call it a positive or a plus 20. To get from 4 to 20, you multiply by 5. Do the same to the numerator. To get from 10 to 20, you multiply by 2. You do the same to the numerator. When you combine these, signs are different, so you subtract, keep the sign of the larger. Looking at number 10, we need the least common denominator. We'll look at multiples of the biggest. So we have 10, then 20. 2 will go in, but 3 won't. 30, 3 will go into 30, and 2 will go into 30. So that's our least common denominator. In bringing down the signs, we'll be absolutely sure to bring down, especially this leading negative. To get from 10 to 30, times 3, same with the numerator. To get from 3 to 30, times 10, same with the numerator. To get from 2 to 30, it's times 15, same with the numerator. 
Since these two signs are the same, I'll combine them first. That'll give us a negative 41 thirtieths. I'll bring down the plus 15 thirtieths. The signs are different, so we subtract and keep the sign of the larger. We know we're keeping that denominator. So 41 subtract 15. Leaves us with a negative 26. This is not our final answer because there's a common factor of 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2, negative 13 fifteenths is our answer. And looking at our last one, we'll check multiples of the biggest. That's 18, 36, 6 goes into 36, 12 goes into 36. So that's our least common denominator. Bring down the signs. To get from 18 to 36 times 2 times 2. To get from 6 to 36, times 6, times 6. And to get from 12 to 36, times 3, times 3. Since these two are positive, that one's negative. I'll combine them first. 52, 36. Bring this down. keep your denominator. When you combine a positive 52 with a negative 21, you're left with 31. And there's no common factor, so that's our answer. If you'd like some practice with these concepts, as long as you're at my website, you can download a worksheet with a detailed answer key.